This tutorial will show the steps to create a continuous background for Cartoon Animator 4. The free vector graphic image used is from freesvg.org and is licensed under the public domain. Let's first open the file using Inkscape. So let's remove the car and the satellite images. Select the city outline. If you double click or hit the N key, it will switch to Edit Paths by Nodes, and you will see all these little boxes along the outline. What I'm doing now is moving the, the node on the right to line with the left side to create a uniform height. Select the Export tab. Select the Page tab, and export it as a PNG. Since the background is transparent, let's open the PNG in Kryter. Add a new layer. Select a suitable color for the sky. Lower the new layer to the bottom. Export the image. I'm just going to replace the original PNG. Let's open the image and have a look. Open Cartoon Animator. If you notice, I made a second image. I increased the size to make it easier to work within Cartoon Animator. Above, hit the zero key icon to set the X, Y, and Z axis all to zero. Select the image, and make sure, all axes are at zero. Hit the duplicate icon. Move the duplicate, to the right of the original. Notice I left a small gap. Use the X axis, and with the up and down arrows, move the image to fill in the gap. Write down the X value. In my case it is 430. Delete the duplicate prop. Bring up the timeline, and the project's setting icon. Let's set it to 198 frames.
Select the image, and select the prop key editor, on the left pane. Select transform. At key, frame 1, X, Y and Z, should be at 0. Move to key frame 198. Change the X value, to 430. Hit enter. Open transform, and the collect clip tabs. You will see a line, that runs from frame 1 to frame 198. At frame 1, select it, right click on the collect clip area, holding the right mouse button, move to the right, highlighting that bar area. At the end of the collect clip bar, you'll see a dot, right click, and hold on it, and pull it to the end. Right click in the collect clip area, and in the drop down menu, select, add to action menu. Name your action, I'm using background loop. Select the repeat icon. At frame 1, right click on the prop, and hit remove object animation. Right click on the prop again, and this time hit action menu. Select, background loop, and the prop should move to the right. Save your animated prop. Select Prop, Custom, Twitchimo Studio. Make a new folder, and name it Continuous Background. Hit the plus icon, and name the animated prop, background loop. Select the save prop, and drag it into the stage area. Move it to the left of the original. At the top, set the Y axis to 0, and the X axis to minus 430. there should not be a visible gap. This inserted clip, should make linking clearer. Here, we have two props. At frame 90, I will move the yellow necktie to the right. Move back to frame 1, and select the pink bow. Hit the link icon, hover over the yellow necktie, and a blue box appears around the prop. Left click, and there should be a red box, with white dots that appear. Hit run, and both props should move together. Once the background props are linked together, they will move together.
let's go into the record mode, and adjust the first prop, so it covers the screen. Bring in Ted, the dog, and have him go for a walk. Go to animation, and select the walk, to Al Motion. Select, Ted, then the Motion tab. Drag the motion, duplicating it, to the end of all frames. Now, hit Run, and Ted will go for a, endless walk. Here, is the final render. Feel free to use this scene, or any of these props, in your animations. If you haven't done so already, please take a few seconds to subscribe, like and hit notifications. Thank you, for joining my journey of animation.